Ok, hello everybody, salve a tutti, uh, today we have uh, the great appointment, so in the first time we uh, will speak about the bioprocess and many other tips in Italy, so all you can need to buy the property in Italy. Uh, I am Marina Rosenberg and today uh, with me uh, Samira, she's uh, from the United States, so you can to introduce you Samira. Because, uh, Hi, my name is Samira Easton. I'm a realtor with Premier Sotheby's International Realty in Venice, Florida. And, um, you know, I'm licensed to sell in Florida as well as Italy and Dubai. So <laughs> today we have really international uh, stuff. So, um, I'm Marina Rosenberg, I live and uh, work in Italy. I'm like a Samira CIPS, uh, International um, inter Certified <laughs> International Property Specialist. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I, I improved my English, so today I have another uh, lesson. So, um, Samira, if you are ready, we can uh, begin and I will share the, our first topic. What do you think about it? I think it's great. Okay, great. So, here we go. Uh, the first tar part of our meeting is for buyer process and another tips uh, in Italy. So, here we go. Here we go. Um, all you need, you, you must understand uh, who is a real estate agent and broker in Italy. Uh, do you agree? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Something. Okay. Well, I think I think it's important to show the different roles because they are very very different than in the U.S. So. Yeah. Yes. So why? So uh, I want to explain uh, a little bit uh, deeper um, some difference. So the first one, uh, the real estate agents and brokers in Italy, they are basically the same. So it's uh, the first difference uh, to United States because in United States, you are uh, agent and you must work with broker. Uh, in Italy, you are broker. So the professional of broker agents is regulated by law. Uh, that required those who works as a brokers of any type are to be registered with the Chamber of Commerce, which validates the uh, qualific qualifications. Uh, this registration is valid for all Italy and also pertains to those who practice in the professional under real estate companies and uh, part-time. So everybody who work uh, with real estate uh, must to have the license. We mm -hmm. cannot work without license. Mm -hmm. So why um, it's important for you? Because uh, the law wanted to protect all clients. The first one, it's uh, insurance. Insurance is the law requires and all arrested agents to take out a professional liability insurance policy for errors or, and omissions policy uh, for the protection to the clients. So when you work with licensed, by, um, with licensed broker or licensed agent, you have the insurance. And uh, uh, another uh, point, so uh, very important, to violations. So uh, those who are not registered with the Chamber of Commerce and who practice uh, the professional illegally may be subject to find an up of uh, 15,000 um, uh, euros. Is found guilty, they are required to must be refund any commissions received from the contact parties. In some cases, they may also be reported to the judicial authorization of criminal conduct. So I think it's very uh, big cover of the law for the clients, for the buyers, for the sell sellers. What mm -hmm. do you think about it, Samira? Well, I mean, anybody who violates the profession usually is fined and um, ends up having to pay money or is punished or their license is revoked the same in the US. I think it's much more harsh in Italy. Mm. So, yeah, because in Italy we have a uh, moonlighted ad real estate agent, so <laughs> when you... Uh, how, many, how many real estate agents are there in Italy? 
total? Oh, I, I have not the numbers. Uh, I'm not prepared for this question. Okay. Okay. Numbers, okay. But it's it's uh, a lot, but it's more uh, the the person who work without the license. So yes. when you buy, you must be sure that the person has the license, because okay. every um, person work with real estate must to have the license. Uh, okay. For example, architect have no license uh, and yes. work with. Uh, by a process or um, something else but you know does the does the builder's agent have a license as well you know the builders the builders have not license no uh they cannot do the intermediate uh, intermediation so okay it, it's very important to understand the role mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so another point another difference in uh, in italy is the mls so uh, everybody know that uh, in america mls it's uh, very important for b2b business and for the client in italy it's not this not same in italy the real estate market is not regulated by mls you mm -hmm. may find some but not all properties on the website sites like idealista.com or um, immobiliare.com. In Italy, it is a common practice not to be specialized as buyer agent or as seller agent. So uh, it's one more different and uh, I think important to understand this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because there are no guarantees that a listing agent would be willing to collaborate with are the buyer's agent and they uh, may not want to share the commissions. Mm -hmm. I know that could be very strange for American agents. Right. I, yes. Right. Because in, in the US it's regulated, you know, there's the selling, the listing agent and the buying agent, but sometimes they can be the same person too, you know. Yes. Listing oh. agents can sell the properties, but it's defined you know, on the contracts, they always have who gets what, so. Uh, in Italy, it's a little bit different, so why I explain your fee and you can understand better and mm -hmm. deeper this question. So, in Italy, uh, the real estate agent can represent both sides of the transaction and therefore has the right a commission from each of the parts. So. Mm -hmm. Here we have the the common point. Uh, mm -hmm. If the transactions is closed to those his or her services, um, the transactions is considered closed. Mm -hmm. uh, the closed at the moment in which the person who made the proposal learns of the other party acceptance. So it's regulated by law by civil code. And therefore, the real estate agent right to the commission is calculated on the conclusion of preliminary contract, or agreement, sell, or purchase. So, um, like a proposta. Uh, that, um, that because when you um, film the proposed and it uh, it was accepted proposed, you must you must you must to pay the fee. Right. Or uh, you cannot not pay the fee. Okay, so in the U.S., the buyer rarely pays the fees. Hmm. It's and always the seller that pays the commission to both agents. Yes, and after the agent splits the commissions, uh, mm -hmm. in Italy, it's uh, it could be a, a little bit complicated. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. the split of commissions is um, uh, is difficult. So uh -huh. the commissions is normally paid by both bail, uh, buyer and seller. Each agent determines the own rates. So we have now the rules that you can take uh, the fixed commission. So mm -hmm. uh, the agent can decide what, uh, what, uh, how many percentage or the fixed commission uh, wants to take. Mm -hmm. So a buyer will generally pay three and uh, uh, of the uh, three percent of say price but in some cases or in uh, rural areas it could be four or more mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. the uncommon way to extra cost mm -hmm. um, important know that if you um, uh, buy the house and it's your first uh, house and you take the residence you can uh, um, uh, 19% of the commissions of the purchase of the primary home can be deducted from the income taxes for the first 100 of commissions.
Mm-hmm. So uh, it could be helpful in some case, but um, we, we must to know what kind of home we pay. So uh, it's a, right. it's you a, can deduct the commission if it's your first home. Yes, where yes. you're going to be living. Where we're going to be living, or you have the primary residence. Right, right. B- because it's a, uh, it's definition. It's very uh, clear in the law in uh, in Italy for mm-hmm. taxes, uh, for ta- for tax, and uh, in uh, in that case you can uh, have this deduction uh, from commissions. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that's why uh, when you um, want, uh, when you find the property in Italy, um, you must, uh, in some cases, work just with agent who you don't like. Because if you have another agent uh, that work with you, your buyer agent, you will be pay uh, a little bit more. So you, uh-huh. you, you will pay extra charge. Because many agents now want to share the commissions, want to take all, all from buyer and from from seller. Wow. Yes, unfortunately, yes. in some cases. Now we try to change something, but if uh, the market is, it's if it's a uh, uh, seller market, it's a difficult to have this uh, kind of collaboration. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just some. So, some can- so are there certain agents that you like to work with? You cannot, uh, in some case, you cannot choose the agent. If you uh-huh. choose your agent and agent fund the property, whereas another agent no want to split the commissions, you right. can work with that agent, but uh, you know, you will be charged uh, extra By that agent, yeah. Yes, exactly, because nobody can do work uh, for free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Either that or they must have a negotiation between the two agents, no? Uh, yes, uh, but uh, um, very uh, <laughs> in Italy you you can do the negotiations. In, my, in many cases, it's uh, when when the seller market, when a strong seller market, no one to uh, negotiation, uh-huh. negotiation. Right. Uh, right. So yeah. because uh, for me it's not important that you have the buyer client. I uh, I can um, sell uh, without your help. So I want to take all money for me and Got it. Got it. what if uh, it was the opposite huh what if it was a buyer's market when is buyer it was a while ago yeah it it, it could be uh, yes it's more wiling but mm-hmm. uh, you if a young generation uh, you can uh, to to do something if it's old generation it's too difficult so mm-hmm. in some case uh so i uh, if you know uh, if you don't have another questions i can uh, uh go uh, with another topic what do you think about it great great okay yes. oh perfect it's a very simple it's easy peasy <laughs> the document by property for non-resident buyers so uh, today we speak about uh, USA buyers and uh, uh, USA and Italy have uh, uh, recipro- uh, recipro- according reciprocity. Recipro- reciprocity. Reciprocity. Reciprocity, mm-hmm. exactly. So why it's so easy to buy in Italy? You mm-hmm. need to take identification number, it's named Codice Fiscale, right. and you must to have the bank account in Italy and uh, for, um, for transfer yes and you can go to buy the property Mm -hmm. (laughs) and you get the codice fiscale from the anagrafe no it's not from anagrafe it's from um, agenzia dell'entrata agenzia so the tax department provides you with the tax identification number exactly 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 it's uh, too particulated because uh, it's another kind of uh, information that you must to to study right. first. So basically, it's it's like a jumble. They use letters and numbers, and it identifies your first, your last name, where you were born, in the country you were yeah. born in. You go so here, each, and yeah, each person has a unique uh, codice fiscale. Yes, and you can use in every occasion uh, that you right. want. So, so in Italy, they're going to ask for your, just like in the U.S., they ask for your social security number at the doctor's office, 
you know, when you're doing certain things in the, uh, you know, the town, uh, they'll ask for your social security number. Mm -hmm. And that's the same way it's used in Italy for taxes yeah, yeah. and whatnot. It's a reciproc reciprocated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reciprocated. <laughs> reciprocated. <laughs> Today, with Samira, I have my English lesson. So. There you go. And also, <laughs> the US and Italy have a tax treaty. So if you're paying taxes in Italy, you can deduct them from your US taxes. Yes, it's, it's a um, reciprocated. <laughs> exactly. Reciprocity. <laughs> Reciprocity. Ah, first, uh, yeah. <laughs> prima boy. <laughs> so, I think it's it, it, it will be interesting uh, for you to understand some something. So, why buy in Italy? Uh, all uh, people know why buy in Italy. So, uh, for everybody, uh, have uh, uh, some 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 dream to Italy. So it's a uh, Mediterranean climate, uh, quality of life, art of culture, modern brands, food, historical heritage, uh, prestige, uh, prestigious university, unique location, and the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, it's Italy have low prices for historical dwellings uh, um, in, Euro in the Europe and Italy yes. is very rich to the historical dwellings. First, yes. we talk well, about well, Dubai well, well. and uh, we know that in Dubai we have just a new dwelling, so yes. it's difficult to have something with her uh, historical heritage. Yes. So Italia, Italy is very special for this, um, in this Italy. case. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy something special and unique, and Italy too rich, um, so you cannot buy in the Spain the same dwelling. You cannot um, uh, buy in the France uh, the same dwelling. You cannot buy in the German. Just in Italy, because the historical heritage is more rich than in other places mm -hmm. of Europe. Absolutely. So it's a very very special, and uh, in. Uh, in many cases it's not very um, pricing so mm -hmm. you, you can find something uh, uh, very very interesting with low prices uh, mm -hmm. for, for example 100 uh, 160 no uh, 160,000 euro 160,000 euros exactly so you can uh, find some dwelling uh, the new with uh, furniture uh, and uh, in some um, beautiful place yeah even downtown i mean there are some incredible apartments downtown that you can get for very good prices yes and italy have a small cities a small historical cities where you can live to be, uh, like in uh, fab 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 fabulous it's a very very yes. uh, beautiful uh, yeah so americans they love siena they like tuscany they like cortona uh, orvieto you know florence they like these very historical artistic cities yes it's in, in italy it's everywhere uh, it's many places where you uh, you cannot find this kind of uh, town. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sicily is beautiful. It's uh, uh, Puglia and uh, Rome and uh, uh, many dwellings. So I think it's um, uh, first of the all uh, um, why <laughs> you must buy in Italy. So, and now I would like to show you some panoramic views of the prices on Italy. Important to understand that Italian property market is fragmented with big price difference mm -hmm. from region to region as uh, well within regions. So, mm -hmm. now I close my first sharing and I will uh, open another sharing view. Uh, okay. There we go. So this is share from uh, Immobiliari. Uh, dot it. Uh, it's a uh, big uh, website with all offer on the market. So here we can go 
to see every region with, uh, um, with pricing, pricing. Mm -hmm. exactly. But uh, you must know it's not this kind of price. So it's not just this is this kind of price. Uh, for understand better, you must go deeper. Wh where you would like to understand deeper, choose your region. Let's go with Lazio. Go with Lazio, great. So when you go, we go to Lazio, you see that we go to see some deeper. So every range price, price <laughs> you can understand better. But yes. um, if you want to understand more, we must to go to deeper. Wow, this is incredible. Yes, but you must to know that it's just in uh, advertising price. It's not uh -huh. sales price. It's okay. Prices. It's a so middle. Are you seeing that they are higher than what is actually sold? Uh, no, uh, here you can uh, see just the offer. Uh, okay. For sold, I show you another. Um, okay. Uh, another place where you can go. Rome. So this is, this is the downtown of Rome. So we see that the very central centro storico of Rome is the darkest color, which means it's the most expensive. It's above five thousand eight hundred euros per square meter. Correct? Uh, no, because we we can go to deeper and understand that. Oh, okay. If you go deeper, you find this price. Price. Uh -huh. Okay. So. There we go. So here you can understand. Uh, <laughs> no yes. one goes to deeper. <laughs> but this uh, it's a middle price that you see. Yes. But uh, uh, normally price it's here. So mm -hmm. now we have the asking price. The middle price could be there. Okay. Uh, if I show you Milano, uh, you can understand that Milano it's small, uh, it's a little, uh, it's a, it's a little it's small, small, small. That's wrong, uh, mm -hmm. but the pricing is too highly and too fragmented. So uh -huh. if it's down to Milan, but we can find something with uh, um, very uh, low, uh, very low price, and Milano uh, to very high, high price. Right. So right. If you go to deeper. Look at yeah. here. Wow. Go okay. very, very, very high. Yeah. Okay. So the, uh, when you choose. Um, when you choose your dwelling uh, in Italy, it's important to understand uh, that uh, market is uh, is very very different in the, in the small places. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a, it's a small places everywhere. And now I would like to see you where you uh, to show you where you can to um, to control some uh, for buy uh, for selling. For selling, is it true? So you can see for sale properties. Sale property, exactly. So it's a uh, agenzia delle entrate. So here we so the tax, the Department of Taxation. Here you can see all a collection um, transaction for okay. um, for sale. So here we can see the differently. Um, uh, numbers and differently colors. Uh, it's uh, for the um, quarter and the zone. So uh -huh. if you if you go to see something um, to deeper, that's essential. Uh -huh. Yes, I show you. For example, this is a, a historical center of Milan, and yeah. here in this small place, you can find very different, uh, very different, uh, different uh, prices. Sure. For property, so uh -huh. uh, um, more cheaper. It's uh, um, six uh, six thousand and fifty for a square meter, uh -huh. and um, more height. It's twelve uh, thousand and four uh, a four hundred. So that means that in this small place you have very uh, a lot of difference variations. And I think when I look at the description in Italian under typologia. Yep. You see uh, regular homes, you see economic homes, you see, um, you know, abitazione signorile means luxury homes. So there's a huge, uh, you know, variation between the economic homes and the luxury properties. 
Yes, because we, we have the mix. And uh, in some cases, the location is very important because when you see the economic property, it's not economic because the price is very, very, right. very pricey. Right. Uh, but but um, Italy is so small and with a big, big difference in small, small places. Yes. yes. So why? If but I think maybe also the price difference when they say luxury properties, it means properties that have been renovated and properties maybe that has historic value, like in a uh, palazzo, uh, you know, a, a former palace maybe. Whereas the other properties were buildings that were built during, let's say, Mussolini times and are much newer. That might account for the difference. Really it's not a rule. In, in, in some cases, we can find something uh, cheaper with historical um, uh, uh, place. So, but it needs to be fixed, maybe, you know. Yes, but it needs to be fixed or in any case, uh, have some problem or uh, many other uh, difference. So, uh, in some cases, we can find the dwelling in the Mussolini home. So, not so beautiful, but it's mm -hmm. very important because it was to uh, renovate it. So mm -hmm. we have not exactly a rule, but mm -hmm. um, very important to, uh, to see, because when you uh, can find something very cheap and uh, in, in the same place where you can find something very um, with high price, uh, mm -hmm. important to understand why it's so cheap. Well, sure. Also, maybe the family needs to sell quickly. Maybe, uh, you know, somebody passed away and they need to sell the property. The children want to sell the property, no? It's a rare case. It's not okay. very... Uh, when the people know uh, the historical price and uh, know the, the market, uh, I think it's like in, uh, in, uh, in America, everybody yeah. wants to have the high price. Absolutely. <laughs> So, uh, okay, uh, I would like to beg for our slides, <laughs> if you, I found the, our slides, and to go to something uh, more <laughs> concreto. Concrete. <laughs> Concrete, exactly. So, uh, I would like to, to explain the formal offer of purchase. And uh, uh, if anybody has the questions, I think that we can uh, give you the answer after uh, all topics. So pay attention and we will be there. Um, when you buy in Italy, uh, um, you must be very um, pay attention for many uh, aspects because it's uh, really differently that uh, when you buy in uh, USA. Uh, the first, the formal offer of purchase, it's a very important step uh, because uh, if you overseas buyer, uh, you must to do all uh, regular and uh, uh, to you must avoid to have any problem for <laughs> for take money, for lose money, uh, for ha have another kind of uh, uh, contingents. Yes. Contingencies. Contingencies. So conditions. Yeah. Uh, when you do the uh, formal offer of purchase, um, you must uh, to pay attention that uh, the proposal can become the preliminary contract. So in civil law, it's uh, described that uh, when you have the acceptance of proposal, it uh, will be in automatically uh, preliminary contract. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why you must be very um, careful. Careful, exactly. The first difference that you can find uh, to, to American um, buyer purchase, the down payment about 10% uh, of the price offered mm -hmm. held or by a real estate agent or by owner. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit different. Yes. Um, yes. So non interest and bearing deposit in the form or non-transferable check made out of the seller, the check is returned if the seller does not accept the proposed. It's okay. um, traditional way. Mm -hmm. um, of course, for overseas uh, buyers, uh, we can uh, give some uh, advice uh, to, to work in another kind of um, arrangement. Exactly. 
when uh, the uh, the propose acceptance of propose when the buyer learns on the seller's acceptance that amount will become the conf confirmatory down payment later mm -hmm. we can understand what what i mean so the contract accepted by seller become binding for both that's binding. why yeah. so important to uh, to understand better adva in advance of uh, proposal what the terms are yes Yes, normally after entering a contract, a unilateral is uh, withdraw the mm -hmm. right to free one's, uh, oneself from a control tie. Mm -hmm. be means of the statement communicating to the other party is not allowed. Uh -huh. So I think it's a big difference to uh, to American. Um, what if the seller? What if the seller wants to uh, not accept the offer anymore? What happens then? Uh, if a uh, seller don't want to accept uh, the offer, it's not a problem. Uh, you are... Um, you no, changes their mind. Let's say they change their uh, mind. If you are, uh, he loses the, uh, he lose the, um, the proposal. I explain you in the, the defaults, mm -hmm. because uh, this, in yeah. this case I cannot uh, explain you. The part is that give the down payment defaults, the other party may withdraw from the contract, keeping mm -hmm. the down payment. Uh -huh. If indeed the party that received the down payment defaults, the other party may withdraw from the contract and demand to double the down payment. Uh -huh. So it's a down payment, it's a bidding contract, it uh, can be uh, um, uh, resolution for both. Uh, so why um, too important to understand all um, all steps? Right. Uh, so the right to withdraw uh, may also be established by agreement between the parties. So can be conventional uh, retention or suspension clause. Mm -hmm. um, my advice: uh, if you are not sure for the for some, uh, uh, you you are afraid that uh, the property can have some uh, problem and you uh, cannot, uh, you don't have the possibility to do the disclosure, you must to include this, this uh, suspend clause. Mm -hmm. It's one way that you cannot lose your money. Okay. Uh, so, uh, if uh, you want, uh, the proposal can become the preliminary contract. So, um, when you no need to wait for the mortgage, or you have no contingents and you have all document disclosure. The disc uh, document disclosure, I think it's the uh, first part of uh, uh, proposal. So uh, you must be um, good uh, with good information, and you must ask your notary, no attorney, notary, to uh, to do the check for all documents to verify. Because, yes, yes, because if you uh, if the property have not uh, documents and uh, you are um, not informed,ed uh, it could be uh, difficult to. Um, uh, to withdraw without losing money yes. and uh, yes. uh, could be difficult to uh, do another negotiation. So, and in this case, you must pay your uh, agency because when uh, the contract is binding, uh, you must to pay your uh, real estate agent. Yes, even if the deal doesn't go forward. Exactly. Now, so, the document's disclosure um, maybe the sense that it's being used here is different than in the U.S. In the U.S., the seller fills out a document disclosure that tells about the property, blah, blah, blah. Here, I think it's a bit different, the disclosure, yes? Yes, um, so the agent uh, must to, to, have, uh, to be informed for the property, but... Okay. The law is very um, particulated because uh, you cannot be so informed uh, like one technical, like a notary or like a geometer, because right. you are not technical. You are you have another kind of professional, so you can uh, take the information, the basic information. It's for mm -hmm. duty um, mm -hmm. of agency, but in some case, um, some information could be nascosta. Uh, uh, Hidden. 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 So uh, in um, 
not all agency can have the the set kind of the, of information access to this information yes Excellent. only the notario a notario can uh, notario have all um, uh, all skills and all uh, responsibility and uh, all uh, uh, all tips for for this kind of disclosure okay. so i think it's uh, the first and the last uh, person uh, that you must to contact when you want to buy the property oh and okay so as homework an american should always go first to the notario and tell him look i want to buy this property can you do the research on it before you do the formal contract yes yeah? exactly it's a, okay. it's a good advice it's the best way you can okay. pay some extra charge but i think it's more important to be sure right. for your uh, property for your money and um, to 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 be in relax uh, and uh, without uh, the surprise because it will Ex be excellent yes yes and in some case i um, i think you can ask your uh, architect or geometer for um, property inspection because in italy it's not um, uh, it's not uh, oh dear. it's not required i i don't think inspections are required exactly it's not mandatory so right. if you are distant and uh, you um, do want to be very clear and transparent mm -hmm. Uh, be, uh, be sure that yeah. all due you, diligence yes you can ask your notary for due diligence and ask uh, your architect or, or geometer for uh, home inspection you mm -hmm. pay extra money but you be uh, very happy so mm -hmm. if you have your buyer agent and you you trust for this uh, for the agent he can help uh, to found the notary or uh, geometer or architect okay good to know okay so the second pass it's um i told you that preliminary contract not mandatory because in uh, many cases uh, the acceptance of proposal it's become uh, to preliminary contract uh, but if uh, you need the time you must take a mortgage or uh, you want to buy for example after six uh, months or um, mm -hmm. you you need for another uh, um, in other sense, so you can uh, do um, first and down payment for 25 30 per, uh, percent uh, of the price mm -hmm. if you have uh, some pending practice so um, for example if uh, the property have not uh, all authorization uh, uh, or in any, in any case so uh, you can have uh, uh, you need time for disclosure so if you have some pending practice for disclosure and contingents you may define all procedures and pre in preliminary contract mm -hmm. so um, my advice you must be do here mm -hmm. <laughs> and the second one after this so you can um, the date for the notarial deed, the date for which the parties intend to stipulate the notarial deed, indicated if possible who the notaric public will be, and the terms and the delivery of the property. So it's same like uh, the first contract for, uh, on proposal. And uh, registration. So uh, the, the law um, for, <laughs> for the taxes uh, tell that uh, registration uh, of the purchase pro uh, proposal or mm -hmm. and the primary contract um, is done at the revenue office and may be done by anyone within 20 days from the notification of the seller acceptance to the proposer uh, for the purchase proposal and within 20 days from stipulation for the preliminary so um, you can um, you can take the money that you in Scalare da, dalle, dalle, dalle parti finali, come sarebbero? Ok, uh, the monies, you can deduct the monies that, deduct. from the final amount due. Yes, but not all money. Uh, no, 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 a part of them. The part of them, exactly, not all money. So, and uh, the, last, uh, the last steps, it's a deed of purchase. 
Uh, in Italy, um, uh, a different role of the notary. Notary, it's very important. So, uh, notary, um, they do full check. So, the notary job is check the full ownership of the property mm -hmm. uh, that is no encumbrance and verifically the identity, the owners and uh, the property to be purchased. Uh, mm -hmm. The notary have a lot of another um, uh, kind of uh, competition, co competi competition, uh, competence, competence. Comp yes, uh, but today we see just uh, the notary in uh, real estate. <laughs> yeah. So the notary is uh, very powerful in Italy. Yes, very powerful. And they charge a percentage of the value of the property. Uh, no, uh, the fixed tax. After we will speak about it. Uh, okay. Difficult to understand, but um, they did. Uh, they did. This done by notary. The transfer of ownership contract in the parts of the condominium and the common. Mm -hmm. uh, the formalities. Lastly, the notary handles the formalities after the deed, such as registration for payment of the tax and the trans transcription to make the deed a possible or third parties um, because uh, all property must be transcripted in the public uh, records. Uh, in the public records. Record, exactly. Registro pubblico, no? Registro pubblico, si immobiliare. Exactly. Public <laughs> records. <laughs> yes. So, language, because I think it's important to understand uh, for language. So, the official property transfer agreement will be in Italian. If a buyer or seller cannot read Italian, they usually engage uh, an interpreter. Other scenarios are possible if parties, buyers, sellers and the notario speak the same foreign language, the contract may be done in that language, but the attacking means will be translated from Italian and the agreement must uh, still be translated to Italian. So, um, in any ca case, I, um, I see that some international attorney explained that it's impossible to do uh, the deed without international attorney. No, you, you need a just interpreter. Uh -huh. right? You can save a little bit of money <laughs> mm -hmm. for this one. So uh, the absent purchase, um, it, it's possible to do the absent purchase. So you need to take the special power of uh, attorney. You must go to embassy, Italy embassy, Italy cons consulato, consulate, 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 consulate office. Consulate office, yes. With this document, the person considered and trust the attorney for or agent with the management of part of his or her affairs to special power of, uh, of attorney is valid only up the conclusion of special affair. So if you have uh, the trust person and uh, you are found the property and I, you are sure that you want to buy but you cannot uh, fly for, or you cannot be there for the, um, uh, the closing, you can uh, do the, absent, uh, the special power of attorney and you have no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, one point, uh, very important, I think so, escrow option. The, it, it's something new, it's, uh, it have just uh, two years and a half because we have this option, but it's not very loved by uh, <laughs> <laughs> by our um, sellers. So, if you want, I can explain it a little bit better for this. So, it's a new law uh, was introduced in, uh, in 2017 that allows the buyer to use an escrow account for the purchase on the, his Italian property. So, the property buyer can ask his notary to receive the funds for the payment of the purchase price bonds to be kept into the notary escrow account before completion of the sale. The funds uh, are kept into the account until the transcription della vendita, the actual registration to the sale. It could be one, uh, one week or 30 days. So I think it, in, in some case you can use it, in some case it uh, could be uh, better don't use this. Once the title registration is done, the buyer is sure the purchase can be complete uh, successfully. 
so so <laughs> today my English successfully is successfully successfully and not will transfer uh, will transfer the funds to the vendor so the first one the notary will in, incur additional cost to administrate the escrow process and uh, um, sellers to be unhappy because in some case you know when you um, sell your property you can maybe say buy another property and mm -hmm. wait for one month uh, could be create some mm -hmm. problems mm -hmm. um, you, you can choose we have this possible but uh, in negotiations you can uh, lose uh, some um, you, you can pay more for this kind of uh, service possible. yeah it, exactly because maybe uh, the seller would like to have uh, a little more money or <laughs> kind of, cannot be agree right well, I mean, when they've done the transfer of title, they expect to have the money right away. Exactly. Uh, and uh, in many cases, uh, unfortunately, in Italy, it's all... Uh, it's, a it's a little bit complicated because they, uh, it's a good idea, but I think to, to stop uh, the, the funds for one month or one week, uh, nobody wants to, to do this. Yeah. In America, it's a little bit better. <laughs> Immediate. Immediately, yes, it's it's normally you can you can uh, stop the phones the first when you must to do all disclosure, and uh, you must understand your contingents. Yes, it, it's uh, true. It's uh, it, it need for your uh, security, but after in this mode, uh, um, it's not very good. <laughs> so uh, absolutely. There's room for improvement. Yes, exactly. It, uh, Italy must improve the, uh, more. So this, uh, the deed of purchase and absent purchase, I explained to you, so we can go uh, to the taxes. Uh, we have one bad news and one good news. Which one you want? Bad. Bad, okay. If you uh, don't, uh, if you don't uh, take the, um, the the residence, you will pay a little bit more the tax. So when you buy a property, there are se several taxes to be considered. So the main vary according to type of the property, its condition and uh, purpose. Some of uh, of them affect the cost of the property and should therefore not be neared. Uh, the good news that in Italy it's uh, um, taxation for the uh, for the buy property it's uh, ev uh, in every part it's uh, same, so mm -hmm. it's not like in America. Mm -hmm. uh, when you study your um, your taxes, uh, your tax it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we go uh, to see here. So when you buy um, from uh, Persona physica from un individuals. From a physical person. Physical person. Yes, you have two uh, possible to to pay the um, taxes. So the, no. the taxes uh, must be to calculated to cadastral value. I, I remember uh, that you explained me in assessment value. Registry. Registry. Re registry value. In Italian, it's a cadastral value that no. must be increased with a uh, uh, percentage and that uh, price will be uh, taxed with these numbers. Okay, so, so we, we usually call it assessment, the assessed value. Yes, so it's a specific assessment value uh, that was introduced in the 2006 because uh, many uh, people who buy uh, the property uh, to um, uh, to show another price in uh, in the deed purchase, so uh, for um, for give the possible to know which uh, really price of the property, uh, you can choose this kind of uh, taxation. So you you don't use your market uh, market price of the property. So mm -hmm. you used uh, the cadastrian value and the value. yeah 
yes, assessment value that you can to control in the uh, cadastral plans. Mm -hmm. Plants and uh, lots. Of, yeah, and the same thing in America, the assessed value of what the local government says your house is worth is very different than the market value. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you pay two persons and if you don't take the, if you don't take the, the residence, you pay this one and you pay another difference. Yes. It's a, it's a big difference. If you uh, buy the luxury homes uh, and you won't take the residence, you also pay, uh, pay nine percent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so registration fee will be calculated by notario and it's minimum price of 100, uh, 1,000 of euro. Here we have not fee, notario fee because notario fee uh, can be established by notario. It's not okay. a percentage. It could okay. be uh, five thousand or two hundred and fifty. So um, you must to understand your not your notary, because for example, if you ask your notary to do um, the due diligence and check another kind of um, information, you can buy. Uh, you you can uh, pay uh, other fee. Mm -hmm. So this in this case when uh, they pay from a uh, person, uh, you can uh, pay something uh, a little bit different when you buy from co co new construction or construction so business. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, you you pay the the price actual price so normally price with the what what uh, will be changed. Uh, Yes, primary home, homes uh, with uh, a special category mm -hmm. and uh, additional homes, it could be a uh, uh, box, uh, garage, it's something else. Yeah. So, uh, important to understand that when you buy with this uh, discount, because it's, it's a discount for the first residency for the primary home, you must to take the residence uh, in that uh, region uh, to the uh, Dishotto, uh, 18. 18 months. So mm -hmm. uh, if you don't take the residence for your primary home, you must to pay the, um, this, this one with okay. uh, some uh, addictions. Uh, farmland, uh, it's also, you, you can pay because uh, when you uh, buy the farmland, uh, you must understand a little bit better because in, in uh, some case you, you buy farmland and you can buy rural homes and uh, uh, you must to calculate it all, uh, all category with uh, uh, the special taxes. Mm. So in Italy, no is very easy. <laughs> very complicated. Yes, yes, it was too easy uh, shit for understand, but <laughs> no, and we have not another one. Right. Let me ask you a question. So for yes. these taxes, they are done at the act of sale, at the act of purchase, you know, when the notario does the, the atto, or is it done with the tax people, or is it done with the commercialista? Uh, you know, need uh, commercialista accounting. Um, you can do all with your notary because he must uh, to to give you uh, all taxes for pay. You can um, you can use your real estate uh, advisor and uh, your notary. So um, you can choose uh, the additional personal, but it's not um, obligatory. Okay. So, do you have to pay the taxes before? or after you uh, in some case uh, do you remember that here we have the oh sorry uh here uh -huh. da, 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 the registration okay uh -huh. so the first part of the text if uh, you are registered your preliminary contract or uh, proposal you uh, must uh, to um, la la, no me ricordo, to Scalare. To deduct. To deduct, yes, to deduct for this uh -huh. okay. number. So okay. uh, you deduct That's an idea before you're going into this process of purchasing a property. You need to know all the 
the taxes and everything so the the first part you you buy you pay when you uh, uh, to register the formal pro uh, the purchase uh, of proposal of purchase and uh, a preliminary contract and the second one you will pay when you buy so right. okay. you uh, you pay your taxes you pay uh, the fee of the agency the fee of notario the fee of uh, i don't know if you need attorney or pure accountant so uh, in this case it's finished for Okay. You must be <laughs> you're without money. Here, no money. <laughs> you can <laughs> so uh, here you must predict the fee of notario and uh, the fee of his agency. Uh -huh. Or another uh, kind of uh, your consulta consultants. So if you have the accounting, if you have the attorney. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how much how much yeah yes so when you are buy the property now you want to pay <laughs> if you live or you don't live in italy <laughs> uh so uh, the cost and taxes related of owning a house in italy so the cost of maintaining of property in italy much easier to calculate it, it's not true. So they are IMO, TASI, and TARI. IMO, TASI, and TARI. It sounds like the Three Stooges. <laughs> yes, it's like it. So if you are, um, you, if you are taking the resident, it's your first home in Italy. So if your property in Italy is your primary residence and you live here more than six months a year, you have not required to pay IMO. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, however, if the house categorized as a luxury property, the IMO tax will have to be paid regardless, even if you, um, you your prime residence. Also, mm -hmm. if the property in Italy is your second home, you will be required to pay this tax. tax. Uh -huh. So the IMO tax is around 5% uh, uh, of assessment value uh, of the ho home plus and addiction 5% multiplication uh, coefficient the varies from city to city. So this kind of taxes can be various to the city and regions. Right. So the first taxes for the bread property is not varied in all so all it is federal tax and this one is uh, city tax city tax exactly tari this one uh, it's mandatory 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 mandatory, mandatory. Uh, today I have a lot of no, new obligatorio vero obligatorio today I have <laughs> new words in English <laughs> so. This tax is uh, for waste collection. You must pay just one time on, on the year. Uh, and the TASI, this is a tax uh, pertaining to the municipal services provided by Town Hall of Italian Municipio. It varies from city to the city. Uh, it does not exist in the uh, Trento and Bolzano. Right, because they're autonomous regions. Exactly. But the task is like for the parks, for the roads, for the public yes. services. Yeah. Yes. So okay. all these taxes mandatory. Uh, mm -hmm. all, but if you have the prime the residence, no luxury homes, you can not pay IMO. But we don't know what uh, we do our uh, government <laughs> after this. We're problem. always changing everything. Yes, exactly. So, uh, when to pay? IMO should be paid twice a year. The first deadline is June, while the second is in December. TASI needs to be paid both in June and December. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, the first part, it was too complicated. Um, management income properties in Italy. So, unfortunately, in Italy, uh, we have not the management company like in America for management of the property. Uh, if you need to uh, have these uh, services, you must uh, have the, your um, real estate agents and uh, uh, he can help 
for um, for management uh, of the property. So uh, we must understand we have two kind of property: residence income property and commercial income property. So for residence income property, uh, it depends if uh, you want a short term contract or long term or tourist contract. For managing uh, management to uh, short term or tourism, we have a lot of uh, similar agency uh, for for management. So it's a little bit easy, but I don't know what we we will have after this point. And uh, um, you know, to, you must to provide the maintenance and tenants management. I think it's. Um, uh, you you can use your agency traditional so for a long term uh, contract mm -hmm. uh, commercial income properties uh, it's depend of type of properties and type of rental contracts it's a little more complicated because if you have a uh, um, hotel if you have um, uh, market it's uh, another type of type of uh, work so in any case you 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 must to find somebody very uh, with great duty and diligence. So it's not uh, very easy in Italy because we have no uh, services like uh, in America. Mm -hmm. Can I go? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. The tax, <laughs> renting tax. <laughs> I think that we have uh, one more. So renting taxation, non-resident owners renting out property in Italy are required to pay taxes on their rental income. Yes. Uh, with respect to rental item, uh, income tax in Italy, individual homeowners who are not professional landlords have two options. So um, for non-residents or foreign owners in Italy, the type of taxation is the same as the, um, the for residents owner. So we have not the difference. All must pay the tax. <laughs> it's not in the buy, <laughs> you must pay the tax in Italy <laughs> with reciprocity. <laughs> So uh, this is very interesting. It's a new um, Cedolare Secca. It's name of Cedolare Secca. The flat fee tax. It, uh, you will pay 21 flat fee tax to be applied to rental income only. But yeah. uh, that you would probably make sense for people that have a lot of money because the other one is a percentage of their total income. Yes, but uh, um, in Italy we have uh, traditional the default ta taxations a little bit complicated. So uh, it's uh, uh, in nineteen percent uh, um, for you. It's very good uh, solutions uh, because if you take um, a little more money here, you will pay a lot of. Uh, you will pay. Uh, th uh, Thirty-five percent. Yeah, the default option is much more expensive. Yes, exactly. So default options you can use, uh, but you can choose if you have, a for example, a, a very uh, small uh, renting. Maybe in this case you can use the default options, but you must remember that you must pay the registration, and when they finish the contract, you must to pay the finish of contract and uh, every year you must pay the registration so um, now if you were to register a rental contract who would have to draw up the contract the rental contract and where would you be like uh, you know registering it's uh, it, mu it will be registered it must be registered or by a property or by a tenant or mm -hmm. in agenzia di entrate or by a real estate ah. agent okay so, in this case, flat fee, uh, we have another kind of taxation for the um, le legal contract when you, uh, it's, it's a little more complicated today. Yeah. I, I, um, I don't explain you. You're not so, a lawyer. It's okay. Yes. Um, uh, it's a, um, here you, you don't pay nothing. So mm -hmm. you, pay, you pay just flat tax and, but you cannot to deduct to say your income. Uh, okay. Nothing here. You you can deduct something, but uh, um, you, you will pay. 
uh, for your uh, <laughs> with your de default options. So uh, you will need um, the content accountant. You need a commercialist. Yes, yes, exactly. So, but it's um, uh, not not so high. <laughs> so Texas. Oh, the last one. It's very <laughs> the sweet one. The last one. Allora, renovation or remodeling the house in Italy. Um, I think it's it's advising for you. So, before buying a property that needs renovation or restoration, is it important to obtain accurate estimated of the work involved in it uh, from one of available local contracts, builders, servers, geometry, or architects? So. Uh, the, fir in, uh, the first I explain you how important to have the, um, uh, all information about property and uh, expe uh, inspection, inspection property. Mm -hmm. So it will be very helpful for you in this case to understand all costs. Even you plan uh, on uh, doing the renovation the work yourself, it's a good idea to get a geometer to take a look at the property to get uh, to get an opinion of the state of building and whether and worth the price being asked. A geometer will so, uh, will so be able to advise you about local building regulation and one uh, and what you can do it. Uh, some local author uh, authorities are stricter than others about building verandas and pool and uh, uh, good local uh, geometry will know all the right people uh, in the right place. So uh, you can choose the architect or another kind of advisor, but I think the geometry it's little, um, you can save the money. So in the US we don't have a geometry, but he's like the draftsman, the a building supervisor, whereas the architect just does the drawings and the, you know, the idea, whereas the geometra is actually the hands-on person. Yeah, yes, in Italy, uh, architect could be, um, could be do the work of geometra, but uh, architect is, um, in some case, can be pricey, mm -hmm. but not, not, uh, not everybody, you must know, so, I think it's very important to uh, to understand first what you want to do. Yeah, and, uh, you need the uh, good stuff. So I think that uh, I finished. Yeah. Do you have some questions for me? Me? Yes. Do you have some que questions for me? No, I think it's a it's a much more complicated system than it is in the U.S. Yes. Yes. That's for sure. Yes, I uh, I know <laughs> because when I prepared all materials, I uh, to understand how to difficult um, to, to make uh, to make understandable for 